Hello guys, welcome back to GPU Tester. Today we're going to be benchmarking the GTX 1066GB. I have the MSI Gaming X variant of the card and you can see the specifications of the card on the screen. You can also see the specifications of the test bench I'll be using to benchmark this graphics card. first game on our list is Call of Duty Modern Warfare and we'll be running this game at 1080p using the balanced quality preset. In terms of FPS we get an average of 82, the 1% lows are 56 and the 0.1% lows are 51. To be honest I was quite surprised at how it performed considering it's a card from 2016 and it's not a high-end card, it's a mid-range card. That said, if you're looking for a 60 plus average FPS experience, this card can give you just that. And most of the time it doesn't really drop during gameplay, it drops when you're spawning from above and looking down at the city. That's when it actually drops, not while you're actually roaming around the map. Next game on our list is Apex Legends. We're running this game at 1080p using the medium settings. In Apex Legends, we get an average FPS of 97 with 1% lows and 0.1% lows coming in at 70 and 63 respectively. Although these games are not really GPU intensive, I was still surprised at how well it managed to run them. The the 10 series just refuses to die it seems. Watch out for the new kill leader friend. Eyes on the map. We are spread out a lot. Package over there. Next game on our list is Starfield. We'll be using the low settings at 1080p and we've turned off the upscaling that is auto applied when you apply a preset. Starfield is a game where the 1060 seems to struggle a bit and that is a given considering where it gets an average FPS of 27 the 1% lows and the 0.1% lows come in at 22 and 21. Starfield is supposed to get an update that improves its performance by quite a bit. So maybe after that update you'll be able to play it at 30 FPS most of the time. At its current state though, I don't think it is a playable experience and if you have a 1060, uh, there is no need to purchase this game. Next game we have on our list is Counter Strike 2. In Counter Strike, the 1060 performs really well and gets an average FPS of 155 with 1% lows coming in at 116 and 0.1% lows coming in at 108. That means most of the time you'll be able to get a high refresh rate experience and this game should not be a problem for the 1060. Next game on our list is Star Wars Jedi Survivor. We are running this game at 1080p using the lowest settings. At 1080p, the 
at 1080p the 1060 manages to get an average fps of 33 with 1% lows coming in at 28 although the 1% lows are below 30 i think if you lock your fps to 30 you may be able to play the game although it it's not gonna be a great experience if you're someone who doesn't mind 30 fps gaming then maybe you can enjoy this experience <coughs> there. You are gonna be playing this game at 1080p using the medium quality settings. In Hogwarts Legacy, we get an average FPS of 44 with 1% lows coming in at 34. That means for 99% of the time, your FPS is gonna stay above 34. Which I don't think would be a bad experience if you're playing with, let's say, a controller, uh, because frame rates and latency is more noticeable when you're playing with mouse and keyboard compared to when you're playing on a controller. That's why consoles feel a lot smoother at 30 FPS than PCs do. Overall, it, it is acceptable performance, and I don't think you can ask more from a card that released. Eight years ago. Next game on our list is a Play Tale Requiem. We're playing at low settings at 1080p. In a Play Tale, we get an average FPS of 47, where the 1 person lows are 38. The 0.1 person lows are also quite impressive at 33 FPS. This is one more game where I'm actually surprised because A Plague Tale is a really GPU demanding game and being able to run it decently enough is, is a big deal for the 1060. If I had a 1060 and I really wanted to play this game, I think I would have been able to. It's not a fast paced game, it doesn't require fast reactions, therefore it's it's completely fine to play at these frame rates. If you want, don't you want your own? Mm, I don't know. But that way we could invite each other to our rooms. Yes, I love this play. Next game on our list is Dying Light 2. We're playing at medium quality preset at 1080p. Dying Light 2 gets an average FPS of 53 with 1 person lows and 0.1 person lows coming in at 45 and 43 respectively. Again, that, that is really impressive performance for a card that's as old as the 1060 is. I'm genuinely surprised as someone who's watched and done a few benchmarks over the years. Uh, it's it's a bit of a surprise to see how well it still stacks up. You know how I found it. No, he didn't tell me. Yeah. <laughs> Next game on our list is Forza Horizon 5 We're gonna be playing at the high preset at 1080p Forza Horizon 5 runs extremely well on the 1060 with it averaging 84 FPS and the 0.1 person lows coming in at 74 Forza Horizon 5 is one of the best optimized game that I benchmark and this just proves how well it can run on older hardware
next game on our list is Cyberpunk 2077. We're running this game at 1080p using the low quality preset. In terms of FPS, the average FPS we get is 41, the 1 person lows are 32 and the 0.1 person lows are 31. Keep in mind that we're using the Phantom Liberty update so that does decrease the performance a bit because it gets a little more GPU demanding and also CPU demanding. The performance isn't bad and again if you're using a controller, the latency will not be as noticeable. And even if you're using mouse and keyboard, 41 FPS average isn't bad and can definitely be enjoyed. Next game on our list is Need for Speed Heat. We are using the high quality settings at 1080p. At high settings we get an average FPS of 47 with 1% lows coming in at 43 and the 0.1% lows coming in at 38. Uh, this almost is a 60 FPS experience, so maybe you'd lower the settings to medium or low to hit that 60 FPS mark, but you may also just like to play at higher settings and you don't mind dips below 60 FPS. All in all, again, single player games can be enjoyed below 60 FPS and even as low as 30 FPS. Anything below 30 FPS is a bit of a problem. Moving on, next game we have is God of War. We're gonna be playing at 1080p using the original quality settings. I believe these are the settings they use for the PlayStation. In terms of FPS, we get an average FPS of 55, with 1 person lows coming in at 43 and 0.1 person lows coming in at 39. The overall experience is pretty good and the game looks really good at original quality settings. If I had to play this game at these settings at these FPS, I think I would definitely enjoy the game. The 1 person lows and the 0.1 person lows are not too jarring and not too low either. Next game on our list is another PlayStation game. It is Spider Man. We'll be playing at high settings at 1080p. And these PlayStation games are actually really well optimized as we get an average FPS of 60 with 1% lows coming in at 44. The 0.1% lows are 35 and I would definitely have fun playing this game at these settings with the 1060. That will also bring an end to our video, I hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know in the comments what you think and I'll catch you in the next one.